Welcome back, folks. As you can tell, I'm out here in the shop again. It seems like if I put a bed up there in the loft, I could practically live out here. The only thing I'm missing is running water. At the end of the day, I guess I could just stand out in the rain, but Coda and I here hanging out. We're going to uh, just put some time into the trailer here. So if you look behind you or look behind me or in front of me, what you're going to see is a trailer. And what I'm trying to do today is take some wood that I've milled and lay it down as the deck. So what I milled here, this is red pine. Obviously, if you've seen my other videos, you notice I have an abundance of that stuff. So this stuff is inch and a half by six inch. And I'm going to treat it before I put it down there, but I got to get to that first. So what I'm doing first is I'm cutting it to length. I'm going to fit the pieces in, get it so I like it. Then just before I attach it, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put down a coating on the bottom, flip it back over, attach it, and put the final coating on the top. So we're getting there. And there's just a few things I've been sort of throwing around as ideas and what they are are sides. So what I did was I attached these first four sides or five posts on the first side and I put it at about three feet high. So it's going to be three feet above the deck. And I'm looking at it and thinking, gee, that looks awful high. But at the end of the day, I'm not really sure what's going to uh, what's going to happen. But if you guys have ideas as to whether that's too high or not, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, hold on. We're going to get down to work here and make the best of this uh, Saturday morning. So here we go. Get up there. All right, a little bit of fancy cutting coming here, but uh, we'll make the best of it. You'll see why I have to do all this after. Basically, it's because of the the width of the material I have. So I'm one of those guys that rather uh, I'd rather use what I have at hand than have to head on out to the bush and you know make more wood, right? So this will uh, this will get me started. And what I do here, there's no point of having that entire depth of blade going when there's only an inch and a half uh, material to cut. So do this, loosen off your, your uh, blade adjustment. There we go, it's stuck. Loosen it off, set it onto something like these blocks, lower it down, and then lock it in a position. And that way it's safe as well. You don't have so much blade sticking out the bottom. Anyways. Okay, so that's the first cut I'm gonna finish off and then hopefully that fits well. And if it doesn't, I'll just edit it out. <laughs> this is the part you have to hand saw. If you don't, you get undercut. truth oh yeah what do you guys think it wasn't gonna fit come on well there we go I'd say that looks pretty good considering what we started with hundred dollars later and well as you know added a few extra bits and pieces to it but 
with a bit of blood, sweat, tears, some welding, and some fumes, well, we ended up with this. So I'm going to put the posts on for the sides, and then we'll see where we end up. All right, so I'm just using the clamp to hold it temporarily, and I use my framing square here to make sure it's uh, it's it's at a 90-degree angle or, or perpendicular to the... Uh, the floor doesn't need to be plumb because if I plumb this, well, I'm sure the trailer isn't level, so that's why it's perpendicular here. I'm going to put two bolts in. These are three inch or uh, three eighths, rather. Uh, what do you call it? Lag or uh, what do you call those? Carriage bolts. Three eighths carriage bolts. So I'm just going to try to position this one up high, one low. Just about made it through there. Let's see if we can sneak that over a little. If you don't break that edge there, what will happen when you start hammering this through, it'll just blow the other side out, all the wood will go everywhere. So make sure you've at least broken through the other side. nice and clean just like that so now I can remove this and I'm not going to torque it down yet what I'm going to do is find what I did with the washer so we'll just get it started and usually it doesn't move on you which it hasn't so it looks good what I like to do I'll hold it like this and then when I drill my other side I I know that it's uh, that it's uh, perpendicular and the only other little secret here and it's not really a secret is I put thread lock on this nut so that uh, there's absolutely no way it can rattle loose. So anyways, I'm gonna continue on here. One last time, see how it moved a little bit? So before I tighten that other one down, I'll ensure it's uh, perpendicular and then finish tightening it down. folks get a good look there that's about it so as you can see I got all the sides on it's made out of one by four material I got all the posts in that's made out of two by fours and then the deck boards as I mentioned is made out of one by six or uh, excuse me one and a half by six inch boards so so far so good next thing I got to do is I have to go ahead and get this secured to the floor so get the boards put down to the floor but that's for next day I'm kind of pooched here and I think I've done a pretty good day's work so I'm gonna leave it at that for today I think this project overall turned out pretty good. If you guys have any feedback for me, make sure you put it down below. Got a few last things to tie up here. Got to put a gate on the back and got to get some more posts for the front. But other than that, I think this is it. As you can see here, I've got about a two and a half foot side. I decided to cut it down at the last minute, but I think that'll provide a good steady height. Now, as for the floor, I still have to connect that down to the cross members. Haven't got there yet. 
Still waiting on some of my flooring to uh, to finish drying. But other than that, I think put a clear coat on the side walls or some of that pressure treated uh, sealant and I'll be good to go. So in the meantime, I appreciate all you guys watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you have, thanks very much. And guys, take care and we'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.